In this tutorial, we are going to solve a question under sound. So the question is saying a stone is dropped from rest into a well. The sound of the splashes is heard exactly two seconds later. Find the depth of the well if the air temperature is 10 degrees Celsius. Okay, so it is very very important for us to understand the question and then come up with a free body diagram and the data which we have. So now, the thing that we have a well, so let's say this is a well. Okay, and then here is the stone. Now when you're dropping something from rest, the initial velocity is zero. So let's say there is water inside the well. Now they're saying that eh, the sound of the splashes is heard exactly two seconds later, meaning that eh, this stone is going to come down here until it reaches eh, uh, where there is water. So now we can call this the time which is going to take from the top here all the way to down there to say this is T1. And then after that, the sound is going to travel from bottom here all the way to up. Okay, now that T we can call it T2. So now T, these two seconds, it is the combination of the T1 and the T2. So we can say that T1 plus T2 is equal to the two seconds. Okay, now we know that when something is dropped from rest, the initial velocity is zero and it is under the influence of gravity. Okay, so we have the g, and then the initial velocity is zero, meaning that we can say that the, the height is going to be equal to the half gt squared, or it is starting from here. You can say that the displacement, okay, the displacement is going to be equal to the initial velocity times time plus half gt squared. We know that the initial velocity is zero, this part can be cancelled. So the h is going to be equal to the half gt squared. But now which t are we talking about? We're talking about t1. t1 it is where we have the gravity. Okay? So I can specify to say this is t1. So now let's call this one as equation 1. Okay, and let's get rid of this. We also know that when, when it was going up, we can say that the speed is going to be equal to the distance divided by time. But time is t2 now in this case. But now to find the speed, they are saying that it was, we are talking about the speed of sound in air. So the speed of sound in air is given by 331 times the square root of the temperature divided by what? Uh, 273 Kelvin. So what we need to understand is that we need to find the velocity. Okay, we need to find the velocity. So what we are going to do is that we need to get um, we need to get the that temperature which is T is supposed to be in Kelvin. So we have to convert that one into Kelvin. Okay, so how can we convert it? Now converting uh, degrees into Kelvin, we need just to do the degrees which we have plus see, 273. Okay, so the 273, we are going to have um, a 273 plus 10. Okay, so what are we going to get there? So if we, if we check there, we have... Um, we have 273 plus 10, I'm getting 283. So this 283, we need to, 283, we need to divide it by what? Meaning that is our temperature. We need to divide it by, um, we divide it by 273. Okay, we divide it by 273, which is in the square root. So I'm getting 1.0. 1.0366, uh, which is the same as one point. I can just say now inside there I have, I have this. The V is going to be equal to three, that one, 
the square root of 1.03663 okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the square root okay so we get the square root of the answer which we have what are we going to have so we are going to have um, if we get the square root the square root of 1.03 and then we have um, we have 3 okay then this answer which I'm getting I need to do times 331 so the answer the velocity I'm getting here is giving me 337 so I'm getting 337 that would be my speed okay so now this is the same value which we are going to you which we are going to use here so we're going to put there to say it is 337 is going to be equal to the distance which we don't know times t2 so we can make d as same as the h d is the same as the h so i'm going to say h is going to be equal to 337 times t2 okay so i can call this one as equation 2 so i'm going to put it here say h is going to be equal to 337 times t2 now since we don't know the h we also don't know the time but we know that the total time was 2 so in this in this equation i can make t i can make um i can just make the t2 as a subject of formula so it's going to be t2 it's going to be equal to 2 minus t1 meaning that in the first equation where there is t2 or in the second equation sorry where there is t2 we are going to put t uh, 2 minus t1 so I'm going to come here and say my t, my h is going to be equal to 337. Where there is t2, I'm going to put 2 minus t1. Okay, so h is going to be equal to. Now we can see that we are going to have. We are going to have. Um, we are going to have 337 times. 2 which is giving me 6 74 minus 337 t1 okay now from here what i want us to understand is that since we have now t1 meaning that we this is the same as this expression here so where this h now i'm going to put a half gt squared now this is 1 has to be equal to 674 minus 337 t1 so i can shift i can just simplify this one i can say it is half this is 9.8 times t1 squared has to be equal to 6 74 minus 3 37 t1 okay so this is going to give us 4.9 t1 squared has to be equal to 6 74 minus 3 37 t1 so i can get i can shift this part here to the other side we are going to have zero this side we're going to have um we're going to have negative 4.9 t1 squared minus 337 t1 plus 674 okay so i can get rid of everything here so that we create space then now we can see that we have a quadratic equation so where we can we want to find t t is going to help us to find our h there okay so our t is going to be equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of the square root of um, b squared minus 4ac everything divided by what 2a okay so from there we can plug in the values so we have t is going to be equal to negative this is our a this is our b this is our c so our b is negative so negative and negative will cancel we're going to have 337 plus or minus the square root of negative 337 
squared minus 4 the a value is negative okay the a value is negative 4.9 then the c is positive 674 everything we divide it by what we divide it by um, 2 times 4 point is negative negative 4.9 okay now from there we can see that we can see that our um, we can see that we can simplify what is inside there so we have t is going to be equal to 337 plus or minus and then we have the square root of um, that negative and negative is going to give us a positive so what we are going to have is um, it's very simple what we are going to have there is going to be um, 337 337 we square it I'm getting a uh, one hundred and thirteen thousand one hundred and thirteen thousand five hundred and sixty-nine. Then plus what are we going to have there? We are going to have um we have four times four point nine four point nine times um, 674 which is giving me a 13,000 it's giving me a 13,000 200 and 200 and um, 13,210.4 so we can add that one with 113,000 569 okay and then we need to get a square root of this okay we need to get the square root of this we need to get the square root of the answer we found Okay, so what are we getting? We are saying that we have um, a thirteen thousand, hundred and thirteen thousand, five hundred and sixty-nine, and then plus thirteen thousand two hundred and ten point four. So what I'm getting inside there, but down here we need to remember that. Eh, we are going to have um, 9.8 which is going to be negative 9.8 9.8 so what we need to, to understand there is that eh, we are going to have this we are going to have let me get rid of this okay so inside there we are getting uh, t 337 plus or minus the root of I'm getting 126 thousand then 779.4 everything divided by what 9.8 which is negative now let's find the square root of that so we have um, the square root of uh, 126 thousand seven hundred and seventy nine point point four so I'm getting I'm getting inside there so we have this um, plus or minus we have this oh sorry the square root of that one I'm getting three hundred and fifty six three hundred and fifty six point let's just put is point zero six nine so let me just put one then here I have negative 
I have um, negative 9.8 okay now from here we can continue now let me let me get rid of this to create space we can see that what we're going to have there is uh, we're going to have T mm, let's just do this we create space here so what we have we have T is going to be equal to 3 it's going to be 3 37 plus 3 56.061 divided by what? 9. Point, negative 9.8 or t is going to be equal to 337 minus 356.061 everything has to be divided by what? negative 9.8 now from there what we need to understand is uh, another one is going to give us negative another one is going to give us positive so we are going to say three um, this answer we have okay plus uh, 337 so then I divide this answer by what 9.8 so I'm getting negative 7 I'm getting negative 70 here negative 70.72 seconds or this one is going to give us um, we have 337 minus negative minus 356.061 I'm getting negative 19 now 19.0 negative 19.061 I divide this one by I divide this one by negative 9 negative 9.8 okay so I'm getting 1 point I'm getting the T here as positive 1.945 seconds which is just the same as it. one so let's just leave it the way it is negative 9.5 seconds so this is the time t1 so remember that this one is t1 okay so now what we what we need to understand is that if this is our time then we can now go back to our equation where there is one and then we plug in the values okay so we can see that the time we're going to get the one which is positive we can't get time which is negative okay so what we're going to have there is a uh, meaning that our t1 is equal to 1.945 seconds okay so this is our t1 so we know that our formula where there is t1 we have um, what do we have where there is t1 we have h is equal to half gt1 squared so let's plug in the values we have 9.8 times the time which is 1.9 nine four five squared okay so we have um, we have um, let's first start with one point nine four five we square it okay we square it four five I square it I'm getting three point seven Eight three, then this times um, this times nine point eight, and then times it, half is zero point five, zero point five. So I'm getting my h as eighteen. I'm getting my h as eighteen point five four meters. So that is the the depth of the well so if you want to use the second one you want to use this one remember that t1 plus t2 is equal to 2 so you can plug in the value of t1 and find t2 then plug in using this formula you should be able to get the same answer as 18.58 okay